Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. We've been crushing fools with our cockatrices, and of course, uh, we got crushed once with our cockatrice a couple episodes ago. But uh, we're, we're just going to blame that on inebriation or any other convenient excuse I can possibly use. Anyways, we're still in the Orban Monastery. We're getting there now. Three more battles, and this cockatrice is maxed. Plus, I only need one cheer up on him, or one... Um, praise. Actually, both of them now only benefit from one in terms of permanent stack growth, because you would need to be going by eight to get uh, more than that. So actually, this round, the bu rounds of buffing is going to be much shorter now. We're actually just going to be able to go out and kill stuff finally. Man, that's been a long time coming. All right. <laughs> I guess I, if I wanted to, I could have just done that from the start, because you get these guys in Zeklos Desert, right? So if I took Yibuti down the Mediator path, and uh, I, I could have had these monsters in Chapter 1, probably wouldn't have bothered to um, praise them up. I would have probably waited until Chapter 2 and cheered them up all the way. But uh, that would have been pretty good. Nice and dirty. Everyone likes it dirty. <laughs> no Mustadio, no Agrios, you're benched. With these generic dudes that we picked up off the street and monsters because they're superior <laughs> fighters to you guys. <laughs> Underground book storage, first floor. That's a bit specific. Oh, of course. Not only does he teleport away, but he grabs Alma. Lee Griff? Uh, of course. Help me, Brother Ash and your booty. You could just use one or the other. You don't have to say both Brother and Ash and your booty. Anyway, she's, people try to drag her around a lot, huh? Here's Ash and your booty. <laughs> yes. It would be a fail mistake to underestimate. Don't let your guard down. It's right. Your booty will ruin your day. Uh, Lee Griff is something, that's for sure. He's probably one of the more fun rivals, and my gosh, that's rare to have anything that outspeeds Wee Griff. Oh my god, really? I could just run up on him? And that is my objective, is to beat him. So, uh... I'm not going to do it though, because uh, there's a good chance I won't hit him, and I don't think anyone else will reach. So instead, we're just going to do the strategy where we all fan out. Because Yubuti will come up and use like a sword, not Yubuti, um, Weegriff will come up and use a sword skill on us. And that will hurt a lot, so... Okay, and they have an archer down there, so... Oh, is there a pass up here? There is, and there's another knight, yeah, waiting around. Okay. We'll give him a little bit harder of a shot. He'll probably still be able to get us, but whatever. Welp. Go over here, try to get a cheer up going. This is probably going to be over before it begins, but whatever. We are uh, pretty tough. Maluda, I can finally avenge your death. Maybe you should wait until you win before you say that, huh? Or are you just that confident in your skills as a white knight? Stasis sword. Yep, another one of these holy sword skill sets, right? And I get stopped. Wow, that's, uh, that's uncool. <laughs> Sorry, I got my dude. Ow. Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty nasty on those counterattacks, too. No joke there. But now, because of the way I moved, most of these guys aren't going to be able to do a whole lot to me. Might take an arrow or something. No. No. Will they even get a black magic spell off on me? Yeah. For 51 damage, that's not so bad. Oh yeah, that archer will be able to do something. Are you attacking? Oh. See a mediator. Now the mediator's slower, so that's not as big a deal. 
up, up, up. They came from behind. Get pecking order. And wow, it's only 75% chance to hit, but it's a one-shot. See ya. <laughs> Avenge that. <laughs> Rather than an epic battle, you get scratched up from the back. Won't lose. I'm a member of the Zodiac Braves with Ares. I can't lose like this with Ares. So you have a frickin' stone, too. And yeah, everyone else just kinda goes and runs off. Um, they disappear, I guess. Maybe they all have sunken state, and then they all use it just to run away. That's probably what happened. They all just use sunken state. And so, we are now into the phase of the game where the battles are going to be faster. Uh, depending, I might start doing two battles in one episode. Maybe not this episode, because there's cutscenes and prep and to-do and whatnot. But maybe in other episodes I will. Are you okay, Weegruff? I'm not sure you should ask somebody who is trailing blood, lying face down on the ground, and not able to speak completely normally, if they're okay. I... <laughs> <laughs> Someone just gets run over by a car and they don't have a pulse. You okay, dude? No. No, he's not okay. Alma! And yet, his loot's gonna get away anyway. Why can't we teleport? When I did my first playthrough, I was a black mage, but I had teleport. I should be able to teleport and chase them. They can teleport to get away. Apparently it ignores height. Why, why wouldn't you just teleport up and down? Because you know, apparently teleporting up and down doesn't cut, count anything in terms of movement. Goho. Is that like short for go home or no? Oh. oh, can't face dead allies without having aven without avenging Meluda. Man, you <laughs> you killed freaking Delita's sister. We're just gonna say it was you, even though it was actually our own family, mostly. Well, and that jerkwad in August. Whoa! Your booty looks a little surprised. And I probably would be too. I mean, this stone is floating in the air talking to people. <laughs> yeah. What, what? You said it. <laughs> Holder of the Holy Stone. Promise what? Your soul? Ultimate power? Never ending peace and love? Oh. Spirit uniting with flesh. Um, you're a stone. How do you- what, stones don't have flesh. That seems like a bad trait, Uyghur, if you shouldn't do it. Oh great, we're using negative feelings again. Only good can come of using negative feelings with, uh, with powers and pacts that involve souls, right? But apparently Weegurf is desperate, and probably wasn't really all that good to begin with, so... You know, this isn't exactly a face heal turn here, this is this is more of just a heal heal turn. Like, going more evil. Valius the Devil, wish granted. With yet more episodes of epilepsy. Ee -e -e. That's... That can be unpleasant. Valius is... No joke. Valius <laughs> is definitely no joke. And again, your booty has a uh, rather concerned disposition there. Well, at least you look better than the last time this happened. Centuries of knowledge? Well, that would be useful. Uh, we have a case of the evil guy running off, wanting to save some for later. Although, in this case, it might be justified. Valius might not quite be confident in his power yet, or maybe he just needs to summon a bunch of help, or something. And, uh, you know, he, he might not be ready to fight just yet. I mean, he did just transform. So maybe that's why he didn't kill Yubuti right away. Of course, we all know that Yubuti would just slaughter him here and there. Because the way I have him set up, he, I could totally win a one-on-one -on -one right now. So, <laughs> it's fine. Disciple of Santa Jora. Up. It's a it's a book, huh? Oh, Zodiac Braves. It's all right. 
knew the church's wrongdoing but said nothing. Oh well. We're gonna try and get Alma back. Just like his father. And we're gonna watch more people die because that's how Final Fantasy Tactics rolls. They don't pull punches. They don't use kitty gloves. This isn't your Final Fantasy 4. And man, most of your Final Fantasies they have some death, as uh, Alpha Shard pointed out, and you know you might lose a main character here and there, but it's just not the same. Anyway, uh, we don't have any clear direction of where to go next, which means we'll probably get into a cutscene the next moment we move, and uh, that's not so bad because uh, we had a short video there on the fight. We got braved up anyway. Oh, they are identical now. How about that? I each only need one buff per battle for three battles. Yeah, they're, they're ridiculous. And otherwise... I mean, Brad is... Brad might get benched for the Chocobo soon. <laughs> or, uh... If I, if I did that, I could probably run a slower setup on your booty. What are my abilities for movement? I think I have move HP up and uh, not a whole lot else. Okay, well, I still can't learn Revive, and that's probably the biggest one to get right now. But, uh, what's on, what are my options here? Move plus one, two, jump plus two, move hit points up, move in water, move find item. Yeah, we'll just stick with move plus two for the time being. And yeah, I'm slower because I'm a monk, and I don't have the 11 speed any longer. So in retrospect, viewers, it doesn't really matter to level up in the Thief job class. You can use this setup with your booty, in any setup you want it, it, with uh, with him. You could down, go down the mage path, you could go down any physical path you want. You know, I'm probably one speed faster than I would be otherwise right now. It's not that big of a difference. So, uh, I, I overestimated the speed growth that you got from the Thief and Ninja classes. This is not so amazing. I mean, you look at this guy right here. He is 8 speed. Okay, but... And he's a knight. You know, if I go into something else, he'll be a little bit faster. And these guys just don't have the development of the high level guys. Plus, he's like almost 10 levels behind your booty. Because your booty just gets more action. That's how it is. Even these uh, cockatrices are a bit higher level. Man, it's, it's so nice to have these guys. Anyway, let's back out and uh, try to move to Dorter. Yeah, see? I knew it. I knew it. The second we moved, something would happen. <sighs> Predictable at this point, so it's good to be ready. Although I don't know if we're going to be fighting here, I'm pretty sure we won't be. Hi, you booty. Oh, hey, dude. Came out an oh, it's an exotic wizard, but it's a dude. That's not good. Ashen, your booty doesn't want exotic dudes, or does he? No, no, I don't. I, don't, I think he is a little bit discriminant in this regard. We're gonna say so. Where's Alma? We want her back. Come to Riabanis Castle. Up. Oh, must bring the Germanic scriptures. <laughs> haven't you read it? I haven't. <laughs> no. <laughs> A blissful ignorant. Life's in danger, and you don't even realize the importance of the book. Well, come on now. Your booty's life has been in danger since pretty early in chapter one here. When he was taking on people plenty willing to kill him, and uh, higher rank than himself. I don't think he needs the care over much. I'm going to take the crag hack approach in this matter. And yes, I've been warned. I know to go to Riavanis Castle, and that's what I need to know. If you want um, background on the Zodiac Braves, uh, I would recommend another Let's Play. I think most Let's Players would show it, but because I'm insane, I won't. Or, uh, I guess you could just look it up or play through the game, but... Uh, Basically, the Zodiac Brave story is a bit of a farce, and these these dudes are using the Zodiac Brave Stones to turn into Lukavi, which are those big evil monsters that we've had to fight at one of already. So it's not like it's a friggin' shock to Yubuti or anybody, really, that the stones are a farce. We know. I mean, we just watched Weegriff transform using a stone, and that friggin' priest guy transformed using a stone earlier and it turned into this evil dude. So, I mean, what do you want from us? We know. We know 
<laughs> that the Zodiac Brave legend isn't really true and that the church has been hiding things. And we've already killed people who were high ups in the church who had access to the ability to transform into freaking demon monsters. Oh well. But if the exotic wizard says so, we must be blissfully ignorant, even having not read the book. Anyway, viewers, I'll see you in the next part. Give a like if you're enjoying the series. The Me and Team signing off.